Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the first video in a series uh, showing how to get, in, get started with Octave, which is uh, Octave is a open source free alternative to MATLAB. It has a, uh, it, it has the same syntax. It has mostly uh, full compatibility with MATLAB at least with core MATLAB, uh, it doesn't have all the toolboxes or all the uh, applications that MATLAB has, but since it's open source and free, it is a very useful alternative for people to who want to do scientific computing. Uh, there are other environments for scientific computing. The most, probably the most popular one is uh, Python with num NumPy. Um, Julia is also a newer option. It's a really powerful option, but in my opinion, Julia is a little bit harder to get into because it is a full programming language with you, uh, that uses types, types for, for variables. So Octave, I think, is the simplest alternative for people who want to do some kind of scientific computing. Uh, now I'm going to to show just how to obtain Octave. So if we go to uh, www.gnu.org slash software slash Octave or in Google, we search for Octave software, we would get to this page a similar one. So here it is the home page of Octave and here we can go to download. If we go to downloads, there are different options, which can be compiled or um, you have options for GNU Linux, Mac OS, BSD and MS Windows. BSD is... So for Windows, we click and here for Windows we have different options. We just need to download the installer. The recommended version is 64 bits. You download the installer and uh, you just execute it. So I have a Linux computer. So for Linux, there are different packaged versions. So it doesn't give you a download site. But if you go to the source, you can go to different mirrors that allow you to obtain different uh, different options of the source code. That is if you want to compile Octave by yourself. That I would leave only to someone more experienced because you need to download and compile many other packages that uh, Octave needs. So in Linux, it is much simpler to type here uh, software. We go to the software, we search for Octave, and here it says that I already have Octave installed, but if not, you would have an install button. That should work, and the latest version is 5.2.0. So this should work. If anyone has a certain problem installing, uh, there are many resources on, on, on internet looking in there are other youtube channels some of which i will try to link at the end of this video so if we have octave open we can uh, use this basically as a as a simple calculator for example so octave the same as matlab uh, works with uh, matrices and vectors mainly so for example, if we want to define a vector V1, we can define, you, we use brackets and we can define uh, what would be a row vector. So this vector is, is a row vector, is horizontal. If we want to define a column vector, we use semicolons. So now this is a column vector. Mathematically, they are slightly different. Oh, sorry. Uh, I will change the name so this should be v2 
So now, for example, we can perform a dot, dot product. If we do v1 times v2, we would get a scalar, uh, a number. So that's the dot product of v1 and v2. If we want to perform an outer product, for example, we can do v2 times v1. This will give us a matrix. It's basically the outer product of the two vectors. This is some, some of the easiest uh, things that you can do with vectors. The outer product has many uses, for example, for generating grids, two-dimensional grids, for plotting three-dimensional functions, and for many other things. So, for example, if you want to make a matrix, you could make a matrix 1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1. So that will be a matrix that's symmetric. So for example, if we want to obtain the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix, for example, if we do eig A, we get the eigenvalues of this matrix. If we want to get both the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the matrix, we use this bracketed uh, multivariable output. So val would be a diagonal matrix now that contains the eigenvalues of the matrix and vec would be a matrix that whose columns contain the uh, components of the eigenvectors. So I am going to, this video is going to end now. I just want to, to show you some basic functionality. On other videos, I'll go into the actual um, capabilities of Octave and how to start using Octave for different uh, science related projects. So I'm just going to copy paste here there's an example so I'm going to copy paste this example here so I have some error messages because there's something wrong with my installation I don't exactly know to solve it so basically this is a scene function so if I click this last part so it's a scene of X as a function of x, it's a simple 2D plot. For example, if I want to, I can change the line width. And I have a larger line width. So the plots, the default plotting options on Octave are not very, so they are simple but they can be configured and uh, you can get much nicer plots you can change the font size you can change uh, well you have many color as many option colors as rgb will allow you so i think you have uh, 65,536 uh, colors available and you can maybe even more uh, you can change fonts to display legends and display access labels you can do a lot of stuff you can 3d plot many things so it is very powerful and very easy to use for people who come from the from sciences for people who come from uh, i don't know chemistry physics and stuff it is very straightforward to use to solve practical problems other programming languages are maybe faster but they require much more learning into the details of the programming language. So that is all for now. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.